everybody. <laughs> it's ALB in Whisperland here. It's been a long time, I know. I've missed you so much. So, so, so much. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little ink drawing with you. And it's going to be really fun, so I hope that you like it. And it's going to be kind of relaxed, because I think it's very relaxing to do this type of thing. And we're just going to have fun with it. So a lot of my friends on Instagram and on Tumblr are doing the Inktober Challenge, which is where you do ink drawings every day, and you post them with the hashtag Inktober. And I think that's really neat because it's like a challenge that makes yourself work. And myself, I love ink and I love doing ink pieces. So I thought it was like a really neat idea. <laughs> and uh, myself, I've only posted one so far because, well, the thing about them is you kind of have to have time every day to do them. And maybe some people it only takes five minutes, but for me, I like to spend a little bit more time and make them something that I can be proud of. But I'm kind of like that with most things, as you may have gathered. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, which is not really a good habit, but as, as it is. <laughs> so... I'm doing this one today, and I decided to start with a sketch because, <laughs> well, if I'm totally honest, it was a little bit unnerving thinking about doing art in front of people in a, in a way that is filmed, not because I'm worried of what you guys might think. I know you guys are understanding and supportive, but there's just a little bit of pressure in that kind of situation, I think. So. I decided if I started with a sketch, I would feel much better about it and not worry too much. In my opinion, figuring out what you're going to draw can sometimes be one of the trickier parts of it. So if you're already starting with an idea, it's not too hard. You may have noticed that I haven't been posting much at all lately. And as many of you know, I moved recently. <laughs> I moved to the big city. And because of that, I'm finding that it can be a little bit difficult to find a good space and time to film in. And believe me, it's not for lack of trying. The problem is that when you live in the big city, there's always sounds. Car sounds and people sounds. You know, sounds from your neighbors. Sounds of the wind outside and of cars. I'm sure many of you know what that's all about. So it's not like when I lived, you know, kind of in a secluded area and I didn't have to worry about that. So I've been experimenting a lot with different times of day and different, um, like, days of the week even <laughs> to try and figure out what would be the least noisy because I think that background noise can really take away from an ASMR video and I want to give you guys the best I can possibly create at any time, so I've been experimenting a lot, and I haven't had the best results, but I've been trying really hard. But really, in summation, that is why I've been away for the most part. The other reason is that I kind of lost my ASMR tingles for a little while. Maybe that's happened to you, and you know what that's like. It happened to me for couple months. ASMR videos weren't really working on me, and you, it's funny how you can lose it for a little while. Like, 
it, they weren't, they just weren't helping me to sleep at night. They weren't helping relax me. I didn't have the same feeling that I did before, and I got really frustrated by that. Not with the videos, but with myself, because I, I relied on them to help me and help me sleep, help me cope with things, and I was frustrated with myself that they weren't working. But it comes and goes, you know, and I think we have to learn to be okay with that. For me, it's back in, in full range right now. I'm enjoying that a lot. I've been getting back into some ASMR artists that I haven't been able to watch for a while because, like I said, I lost my tingle for a little while. And that's been fun for me to kind of rediscover old videos that I used to like a lot and new ones. So like I said, I'm hoping that there isn't too much background noise. Um, there, there might be a little bit and I'm hoping that either it won't bother you or you won't hear it too much. So you might be wondering what it is that I'm doing here on this piece of paper. I'm doing a little sketch of Harley Quint from the DC Comics. And she's a very fun character because people don't usually expect her to be in pretty poses, you know? You can really play with uh, how she looks and expressions because she's a little zany and that's fun. It's fun to draw and to look at, I think. So I have some red ink here. This is um, Winsor Newton ink. And I, I do really like their stuff. I have some of their paint, too. It's quite nice. Um, and I would recommend it for beginners as well, because it's not too expensive. It's pretty reasonably priced. One of these little containers of ink usually goes for Anywhere I've seen it from three to seven dollars, um, depending on you know where you're shopping at. Of course, it will always change, and there will always be sales. But um, you can also get packs of like six of them for twenty dollars. You know, so you just have to watch for the deals, and they last for so long. Very, very. Um, good purchase for either yourself or an artist in your life. And I also have black here, although I haven't quite gotten into that yet, which is um, Speedball Super Black India Ink, which is not the best, but it's reliable. <laughs> and I'm just using um, high grade drawing paper here, not watercolor as I would maybe usually do with ink, but you know what happened was I started on this piece of paper not really expecting that I was going to end up inking it, but I kind of liked it. So that's just what happens. I've had so much um, happening in my life recently. Lots of really fun and good things, and I've gotten to meet a whole bunch of you lately, which has been so fun for me. Um, I did my first convention tabling at SPX, um, which is an extremely fun convention, and I would recommend it. It was like a really cool vibe. I would compare it to TCAF. It's kind of like the American TCAF. <laughs> it reminded me a lot of TCAF. But yeah, I got to do my first table and and meet everyone and sell my artwork and oh, it was so fun and I got to see all my friends. It was a really, really great time. And I, I shared a table with my really good friend Lauren, who's just the sweetest person. She's so kind. We're planning to do lots more tables together, and I'm happy about that because 
she's such a fun person and she's really reliable too like um, you can trust her which is very good but yeah I'm planning to do lots more tabling but of course it, it depends on you know you have to apply for these things and whatnot so fingers crossed I get in for lots more <laughs> and I can meet more of you it's been really cool because a lot of times when I have been meeting you guys I've had a lot of people say you know I watch your ASMR videos and that's really cool for me it's neat maybe to have been someone who could introduce others to something that helped me personally so much that's a fun thing for me <laughs> As for brushes, I'm just using um, these Curry's House brand brushes that are for watercolors. I prefer synthetic fiber brushes to anything else because they're just easier to wash and the bristles stay like sharp and pointed. You don't have to worry about them fraying too much which can be a problem with brushes that I've found anyway <laughs> although I'm pretty careful with my stuff it just just happens in the lifespan of a brush over time they get a little not so pretty <laughs> it's really fun to use a different color of ink than black as well kind of adds a different dimension Sorry, just like kind of thinking about what angle I'm going to come at this with. Even though I have the sketch done, still trying to figure stuff out, you know? Hmm. So it's October now, which is really nice. Fall is such a beautiful time of year. There's beautiful leaves on the ground. The trees are all changing color. And soon we'll be coming up to my favorite season of all, which is winter. And a lot of people, a lot of my friends in fact, really don't like winter too much. Which I totally understand because there's not a lot of sun and it's dark. and That can be really hard for people, you know? A lot of people really need that sunlight to... There's, there's some kind of chemical gives you happiness from sunlight and sometimes people get those um, happiness lamps because it produces the same rays from the sun the same kind of response in your brain but for me it's kind of the opposite really I love the winter and I love that kind of well I'll tell you my favorite thing it's, it's late at night when the only light is from the street lamps and snow is falling really gently and it's kind of a haze because the snow reflects the light from the street lamps so even though it's nighttime it's bright out you know that's my favorite thing oh I love it so much I look forward to that every year. It's just the best, the most beautiful thing. But fall is very nice. There's like a crisp in the air. And of course, one of the best things about new seasons is you can bring out all your clothes for a different season, sweaters. You can start layering things. I love scarves and doing all kinds of different things with that. Hmm. Maybe no red for the next little while. I have a little dish of water right here. And I think we'll do some black.
And we'll do the same brush. <laughs> I was liking that one. Black's much thicker. It's not spreading quite as easily. That's okay. Just have to play with it. <laughs> in some ways, using ink is a little bit like watercolor, but in a lot of other ways, it's not at all. I'm giving her a little brooch here, little diamonds. You guys, I have so many ASMR videos planned for the next little while. Can't wait to film them and to share them with you. I have a whole notebook filled. <laughs> because like I said, I've been trying to film, but just my surroundings have not been the best for filming. <laughs> but I've been trying really hard because I, I love it so much. And I have notebooks filled with ideas things I want to do. I'm planning to do some more hair play videos because those seem to be your favorite based on like the view count versus other ones, you know? And I want to try and do it on different like lengths of hair because the two videos I have up are both with long hair and I know so many of you have short hair too and I want to have something for you too that you could relate to when you're watching I'm going to try a different brush. I don't like how this one is going. I have this pen here, which is kind of neat. It's like a brush pen. Now, I don't really know the brand or make of this because there's no information in English on it. I got it at um, Mitsua at the little mini mall in um, New Jersey. And it has ink right in it. very very cool but I also sometimes like dip it in the ink pot it's a very thick brush as you can see much bolder lines. The other day I saw something that totally made me think of you guys. I saw a girl in a store who is wearing a Bob Ross necklace. It was like um, a little charm and it had his face on it. And I was like, oh, my ASMR buddies would love that. I would love that. Another thing that I love about this time of year is there's so many good movies coming out. There's like a million movies in theaters that I want to go see.
I like going to the movies. <laughs> it's fun. I am like addicted to movie popcorn. I can't go to the movies without having movie popcorn. I think if if I worked either at or near a movie theater, I would just eat the popcorn all day. There's something about it, and it's not good for you at all, I know that. <laughs> I just love the flavor. Movie popcorn. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else does this, and maybe it's like a really bad habit, but when I'm drawing, I like make the expression <laughs> that the person I'm drawing is making. I don't know if that actually helps. Probably not. It's just a habit, I guess. I wonder if anybody else does that. Maybe that's weird. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. just what I do. I don't know if it helps. It's funny, I just had this urge to be like, sorry if the video is too long, but I forget <laughs> that you guys love when the videos are long. <laughs> It's not like on my other channel where I have to kind of keep things in a timely manner. For you guys, it's like, make it longer. <laughs> I love that. Because I'm like that too. I like when things are long. Because mostly, when I watch YouTube videos, you know, I'm maybe working on something and I'm putting it on just to listen to. So I don't mind when things are long. doesn't bother me. I like to listen to people talk. If they have an interesting voice or interesting things to say. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, this is like the trickier part. Well, it's not tricky, but you can't, you have to be more specific, you know? If that makes sense. Hair is so much fun to paint and to draw. I like to do it swirly most of the time. It's just more fun. I've been recently very interested in typography. I'm not sure if I would maybe like to take a course in that or something. Maybe. Maybe I'll just practice on my own. But I've been like admiring people who can do typography a lot lately been looking up a lot of typography, um, like blogs and um, things like that, where people post that kind of stuff. I just think it's so beautiful. I've just been fascinated with it lately. I've, um, I'm thinking maybe I should go to the library and get some books on it and maybe practice. It's some, I think it's a useful skill. I don't necessarily like my handwriting too much, so I think you could improve not only in decorative typography, but in your own um, skill at writing, which is kind of a lost art, in my opinion.
Well, I mean, I heard recently that they're not even teaching cursive writing at schools anymore. Do you remember how much time we spent on cursive writing in school? Oh man, so long. But I guess if it's not needed, it makes sense to not teach it anymore. It'll be funny in 20 years when we're all writing in cursive and the kids who are in school right now don't know how to read it. It'll be like our own little secret language. We can write each other notes. We bring our little pom-poms in our hair. Because I would like to have pom-poms like this. I think it's so much fun. I think that's part of the fun of Inktober. Because <laughs> you can rediscover maybe how much you liked it. Or, or if you're not too good at it, you can get better. I think I should try harder to do one of these every day. There's, there's never a time when you, as an artist, can't improve, you know? You can always get better. This is quite a bit faster than I would usually work. Usually I kind of like to take my time and put on a television show in the background. I don't know why, I just always do that. A lot of people like music. I always have a movie or a TV show on. And it's usually one that I've seen before, so that I'm not paying too much attention to it. I don't know, it just makes me feel like somebody's there. It's like, familiar. If you put on something you've seen before, you start watching it, <laughs> which defeats the purpose, I think. I really like this brush pen, although at first I hated it first got it, I didn't like it at all. It was like just unfamiliar and I didn't like it. I felt silly for spending money on it. I mean it was only like five dollars. So it wasn't anything crazy but I felt like I wasted money. But now actually I would even buy another one. I really like it. And I think that you can actually, like, it's rechargeable, like, not rechargeable, <laughs> resellable. Like, you can get um, more ink cartridges or whatever. Whatever the proper name for that is. But to me, it's like most of the time, like this, this would be a great pen if you were doing work on the go, but most of the time I work at home. So I can just use this, which is much cheaper. I'm always thinking about, you know, what would be the best use. It would be really good for on the go people though, who like to maybe work in a park or on the train, whatever you like. Yeah, this is much faster than I would usually work. 
But it's funny how forcing yourself to work quicker sometimes is great and turns out pretty okay. I always love to challenge myself. I hope you guys do too. And whatever you do, whether it's art or work or whatever you like to do. I think that whatever you do in life, just be great at it, you know? Whatever it is that you do, try to be the best at it. I think that's one of the purposes in life, is whatever you're good at, try to always get better at it. Hands are like my favorite thing to draw. And to ink, I guess. <laughs> but, um, when I was in high school, I used to be really, really bad at hands. Hands are like typically one of the trickier things to do. And I made myself do hundreds and hundreds of hands. It was like this little personal challenge I put on myself. I made myself do a million of them. Well, not. Not literally a million, but you know. And I got better, and that's how you get better at things. Just making yourself do a billion of them. And now they're like my favorite thing. It's funny how that changes. I should probably challenge myself to do that with feet, because I still find feet very difficult. I still find a lot of things really difficult. <laughs> a great deal many things. I would love it, um, if you're not busy, <laughs> if in the comments you could write what kind of videos you most like seeing from me. I think that most ASM artists, ASM artists, that's a funny word, most ASM artists have things that they do, like, that they do very well, like everyone kind of has a thing that they're really good at, you know, and I'm not really sure what mine is in terms of ASMR. But if, if you have a favorite thing, I would love to know, so that maybe I can do more of that. In addition, I'm also going to have um, some giveaways on this channel coming up, which is really cool. It's like really neat for me that I'm at um, a point with this channel where people might want to sponsor giveaways. Like, that's a really cool thing for me, because I love this channel. I love ASMR. I'm just going to move this up a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. So the paper is getting a little crinkly on me because, like I said, this isn't watercolor paper. I should be doing this on watercolor paper, but there you go. It's too late now. I'm just going to have to work with it. hope for the best. not talking again. The hands are a tricky part, you gotta get them right, you know? I think you kind of just have one shot, because it's permanent, so... 
Like, here's hoping. The finishing touches. I really like um, shiny clothing, <laughs> like raincoats and things like that. It's fun to paint and to draw. I'm really interested in lighting and how light reflects on really shiny fabrics. Putting the finishing touches on it now. Hmm, I think we could play a little bit more in red before we're done. Maybe just add some some shadows to things. Switch this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really glad to be back with you again. It is always an absolute pleasure to make videos for you guys. So I hope that you'll stay tuned for more on my channel. And here is the finished product. I kind of imagine her saying, like, can't we just say he was dead when we found him? <laughs> it's the kind of face. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, whatever you're having. And I love you so much. I'll see you soon.